happening soon. Um, this pro- this video will probably come out after the fight, but um, yeah, uh, next a uh, big fight, uh, UFC two five three, um, and the main event Israel Adesanya against Paulo Costa. What are your thoughts on that fight? And um, let's go easy. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we definitely. I think. I mean, well, a lot of people here in New Zealand definitely rooting for for Israel, and um, I think he has like a huge fan base, uh, even like in Nigeria as well. I saw them, um, some videos, uh, some people posted, you know, they have like big banners and big TVs around the country Mm. of uh, Israel, and um, you know, a lot of them, you know, obviously look up to him, you know. Um, Yeah, but what are your thoughts on the, uh, this fight? Well, I... I, Give us a breakdown. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, You know, I mean, Isi, of course, is probably the most unpredictable fighter mm. you know um, in in history uh, but I, I would like to I would like to I would like to see easy you know uh, chipping away at at, uh, at Costa's legs mm. uh, because that's two area that nobody ever exposed apart from Romero mm. uh, attack his body and attack his legs because the guys always try and walk through everything you know mm. But I noticed that, you know, when uh, when Romero was fighting, and Romero actually, that was Romero's best fight ever. Against Costa. Yeah, yeah against Costa. That was, to me, that was his best fight. Mm. I think he throws something like over 100 jab, half jab, level level chain jab in two rounds. In the last two rounds, he was he threw over 100 jabs wow. or, or even <laughs> faint jab, you know. Mm. And and every time he, he threw it, but he never capitalized on it. He threw the jab and... Costa will lean back, of course, when you lean back, you expose your leg, your calf inside. And mm. so I, I got a, I know Eugene and them, they're, they're very, very shrewd. They would have taken that. They would have noticed because um, Romero didn't realize that he bothered uh, uh, Costa with inside leg kicks. Mm. Uh, but Easy can take to the next level. He can level change to the body and he can go to the head, you know. And, you know, he's he's very reactive guy. He comes forward, but when he, when you faint and you throw half jab, he react and, and he can react by leaning back or leaning to the side. Mm. So I could see easy throw a wide jab and then bring him to the left kick, kick the opposite side where he leaned to. So I hope so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, you know. Um having said that, um he has to um that that cause that he he throws a lot of his uh different ways of throw his left hook. He can throw it, sneak into a uh, it looked like a like a 45 degrees, and you throw along, and you throw, um, which is probably why uh, Romero was tripping to his right, because at least you know there's only one weapon to come there with, with his overhand right. Mm. Uh, but you know, Easy has a lot of weapons, and they would have studied that fight. They wouldn't know exactly. So uh, my feeling is, if all Easy has to do is just. Um, try and keep the, the fight in the center. Mm-hmm. Get get that jab busy so you can use that jab to set up low kicks and then level chains mm-hmm. um, and just stick to the game, you know. Um, Would you think it's almost too dangerous for uh, Costa to come in like with the pressure that he did with uh, Romero? I just, there's, there's, no, there's no doubt that, that Costa will be dangerous for the first mm-hmm. two minutes. Mm-hmm. But as you saw it, or uh, as you saw it at the... Romero. Romero fight his his his, his uh, energy sort of deteriorate after two minutes, mm. so I, I could see Easy making more later part of of, of the round. It doesn't matter if it's a first round, second round, third or fourth. Mm. Easy will make his his move in a later part of the round. Um, but then again, you you never know what he's gonna do. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you know, he he could come and start yeah, it's just flying. You know, yeah. yeah, you never yeah. know what's coming yeah. out of the his, his mind. Definitely yeah. works in uh, different ways. But you know? I, I I feel that if he if he chip away at at, uh, at Costa's legs early, things will open up for him later on in in a round anyway. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but if if Costa go in there and try and pressure him like he did. Uh, uh, Romero, he could eat a uh, shin kick early. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, wh- what was your reaction to uh, Izzy's fight with uh, Romero? Were you a bit shocked, uh, you know, when the first almost two minutes was it that Romero was 
the stationary. Well, it, it, you know, and, and that's and that's what I hope is not going to happen with with Scotts' Scotts' fight. Mm. Um, everybody knew is his string, you know. Mm. Um, is his string is his is sharp counterfighting, and he'll he'll put you in a position where he doubled his power, mm. and um, and that's what he did to to, to Robbie Whittaker. Mm. And Romero saw that, and I, I don't want nothing of that. I want, I just want to, <laughs> I want to try and draw him in, you know. Yeah. Um, so if Costa take the fight to to Easy, mm. um, it, it's going to be a very entertaining fight while he's last, mm. you know. But yeah, um, he he has a sneaky left hook where, like he he attack the body or he can rise it up from low. Up to to the head, like a half uppercut, half mm. hook. He throw it square, and he he, he rolled it down. He throw many different ways with his left hand. Mm. His right hand is only one, you know, like you come the opposite side. So I guess um, um, easy already know which which direction is going to go to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that's uh, that's quite a good uh, fight breakdown. Uh, we appreciate <laughs> that, Lolo. Um, thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and see you on the next one.